In football, respect is earned on the practice field. And if you indeed practice what you preach, that respect stays with you when you leave it. It's why you still see Luke Laufenberg's name at UTEP. Luke was always around football with his father, an NFL quarterback and now broadcaster for the Dallas Cowboys. But Babe Laufenberg never pushed the sport on his sons Luke and Joe Willie. I wasn't raising athletes. I was raising young men. And if they wanted to play sports, great. But my primary focus was on, again, being a, being a parent and raising uh, good young men who were going to be good citizens. And although Luke waited until high school to play his father's game, he was hooked once he started. He was also pretty good. As a preferred walk-on at Texas A&M after high school, Luke realized practice was where he'd earn his keep, and that he did from a future NFL All-Pro. He was a scout team tight end down there his freshman year, and guess who he had to block every day? Was that Miles Garrett, That maybe? would be Miles yeah. Garrett. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I was just putting that together. Yeah, and I remember I was at Cowboys training camp. I said, man, how's it blocking Miles Garrett? And um, he said, well, it's funny, Dad, if I can get my hands on him, and I can sink my weight, and I can get good leverage, he said, if I can do all that, I can hold him off for about a half a second. In December of 2017, Luke fell ill with what he thought was the flu. And on the day after Christmas, Luke was diagnosed with Burkitt's leukemia, cancer at the age of 19. And on December 26th, the, the doctor pulled me to the hallway and uh, put his hand on my shoulder and said, your son has cancer. So obviously, <laughs> tough day. Uh, as a parent to hear that, but uh, you know, the photo of him in the ambulance smiling, the thumb up, and I, I think he just was almost relieved that we had a diagnosis and we could start trying to treat it, and, uh, and that's exactly what happened. And I think his whole attitude the whole time was, all right, what do we, what, what's our next step? Where do we go? How do I... How do I get past this? For the next five months, Luke underwent chemotherapy in Dallas. With the leukemia chewing at his metabolism, Luke had dropped from 240 pounds to 150, but his focus remained one. Every doctor that came in, it was, when am I going to be able to start working out? Um, and they were just trying to literally keep him alive. Uh, their focus was not to see when he could get into the weight room. But I think what kind of helped keep him alive, if you will, was the thought that I'm going to get my body back and I am going to play football again. In May of 2018, a body scan revealed that Luke was cancer free and true to his word, he quickly trained his way back to football shape and accepted a scholarship from the UTEP minors. Luke was in El Paso and he needed one more clearance from doctors before he was back on the field. He said, if I die, I die. I said, I'm playing football. So I said, well, yeah, we just may want to check this out. So his heart did check out to the point where he could play. And uh, you know, I was very excited. I, I just remember thinking, I'm gonna go to that spring game that spring. And I mean, I'll just, I mean, I'll just cry seeing him come out in the uniform. I didn't care if he, I didn't care if he played it down. Um, I didn't care if he ever played, but just to see him come out knowing where he had been. And now he's sitting here coming out in a football uniform ready to play. Uh, you just, you, you could have never imagined it when you saw this kid that was in the bed for literally 100 nights in the hospital. After going through spring practice, Luke began experiencing back pain, and a doctor visit confirmed the cancer had returned. So again, Luke went through more chemotherapy, but he was still determined to play that fall. On July 9th, he caught passes from his dad, the quarterback. I didn't know at the time it would be the last time, um, but as it turned out, that, that was the last time we ever threw. So when I drive by, I look at that field, and my kind of last memory of Luke as a football player, if you will, uh, was on that field and throwing him passes. Just three days later, the Laufenbergs were told the cancer was terminal, and Luke was given two to eight weeks to live. He wanted to just go about his life uh, to the end, which he did. Went skydiving, went to Las Vegas with his brother. <laughs> Worked out literally to the day we had to check him back in the hospital for his final literally week of life. He came out to Cowboys camp, which I was out there because, again, he did not want us hovering around him. On August 22nd, Luke passed away at the age of 21, two weeks shy of UTEP's season opener.
I've told people I won't live long enough to get over it. Um, you try to get through it like any parent who has lost a child. At the end, he said uh, he'd done the three, he checked off the three things on his bucket list. One was to live at the beach, which he did with my sister who lived in California for a while. And uh, one was getting a tattoo, and the other was being a D1 football player and getting a D1 scholarship, which he did, so. Now two years after Luke's passing, Luke's last name is on the field each Saturday on the back of former teammate Justin Garrett. Moving forward, Luke's number two will go to a deserving player each year. And in the team weight room, a nutrition station in his name will be completed this fall, where players can fuel themselves with the strength Luke brought every day. I think he'd be a captain. I, I think in no doubt in my mind he'd be a captain. We would definitely need him and use him, and he'd be a huge part of what we're doing, and he is. He's a huge part. He's with us right now. And what Luke has done for the program, the program has done for the Laufenbergs, particularly Babe, keeping them close to their lost son. It, it takes him back to, to a time when Luke was doing well and doing exactly what he was, was wanting to be doing, which was playing football. He, he loved it here at UTEP so much that uh, I know it kind of uplifts my dad seeing, seeing those types of things. But whether you knew him or not, the principal to live like Luke is something for all of us to carry forward.